What's up everybody, today we're going to take some self portraits for playing cards. So I've had this idea for quite a while now to create a brand new self portrait using some playing cards. So obviously we had this great background set up from a previous shoot, so I thought I might as well use it. I've got an idea on lighting, so I'm going to have a rim light at the back, a strip box or something at the front. And what I'm going to do is stand here with a deck of cards, or possibly two, I'm not, sure, not too sure yet, I'll just see how it goes, and just spring them so the cards flying towards the camera, obviously get the, the self portrait like that. We're going to set up a couple of lights and uh, do a couple of test shots and go from there. So the lighting that we're going to use today are these Godox AD 200s. So we're going to use two of these today and we're going to get them set up. So there we go. I've just put the battery in and turned it on and the model lamps come on. So I can see that's hitting me now. So the next light that we're going to set up apart from the rim light is we're going to have this as our key light and this is another AD200 and on the front we've got a strip box and it's one with a grid on. With using the grid on the strip box instead of having the light sort of bouncing all around and not very direct we use this so it concentrates the light source and goes directly on the subject wherever you want it. We'll just grab the camera and we'll do a couple of test shots. So as you can see we've got our camera and we're using the Fuji X-T2 and I'm also going to shoot it with the 23mm which is an f2 lens. So what we're going to do, I've got it turned on, I'm going to set it to F71 and the shutter speed I'm going to put it up to 200. If I was to take a picture now it'll be black as you can see there and that's what we want because what we're going to do is add in the flashes and we've got full control of those flashes. Because I know where I'm going to stand is roughly here when I do the test shots I've got a mannequin which I use for the clothing which I also use as a backup for when we're doing sort of light intestines and there's no one else around and obviously when you set the tripod up you also use that to grab your manual focus. The focus is going to be spot on. Let's see there. So I'll take that picture. That lighting's okay, but I think it's a bit too bright. I'll just dial that rim light back to 64. That's more like the sort of style that I was looking for. There's a lighting set up, now it's just to do some tests. Plan now is switch places with him and I've got the camera set up on the tripod. So we're gonna take a couple of test shots with me in there and make sure I'm happy with the lighting and then we'll do some tests. So what I've done, the camera's on autofocus and I've focused on the mask here. It's gonna be the same focal plane that I'm gonna be on. I've put that back on manual focus. So therefore when the shutter goes off, it doesn't hunt for focus and it won't find us. It'll have that bang on already. So we'll just switch out and give that a try. So what I've done, I've set the camera on self timer. It's a 10 second countdown. I'm in the spot here. I can see the flashes going on the camera. So it's like watching paint dry. There's a test shot. So that's it all done. You can see here when it's focused. It focuses on me and I've got that light in the background. Obviously I can crop that out and that'll be good. I think what I'll do first, I've got the, the red bicycle back cards. So I'm just going to take them. What I'm going to do is just spring them off my hand, aim it towards the camera, spring them off when the timer goes off when the pictures are taken and hopefully we'll get a decent shot. Self timer's on, it's counting down. But there, I think that was a bit too early. Sort of looked okay. So you can see there, it's got me lit up and it's got the cards falling. So there it was a little bit early. Next one's a bit better. Mm, that one's slightly, that one's got them more slid down. So I think what I'll do, I'll pick up the cards. I'll try another one with just the one deck of cards just throwing them about and then hopefully I'll be able to see how it is. The thing I'm, I'm thinking about though is when they're flicking them they all seem to be the right way so I don't know if it's worth just picking them up as they are. So while we're here too we can also do some card tricks and what we can do is riffle down and when you tell me to stop I can find your card. So here we go again all the cards are sort of mixed up some front some back all that sort of thing so we'll give it a, a try and see if that looks any better so there we go self timer's back on now the only struggling thing is what to do with my face so am i sort of like serious or funny or so we tried that one so it was sort of more pointed towards the camera and we'll see how that is yeah that one's come out okay that one's looking all right see some of the cards going out yeah, that one could be a possibility. We'll try another couple more. I wanted a portrait shot for Instagram or whatever like that. I'm going to need it 
so I can crop it in vertical. So the only way around that is when I shoot the cards, possibly shoot them up and see how that goes. But then the issue is the cards are going to go over the, the front of my face, so you won't be able to see us, but it could give a good effect, so we'll give that a try. So we go self time around again. To fill the frame, I'm going to get down a bit more, just so we're like this. That one didn't work as well. <laughs> just ended up hitting us in the face. And I think when we look back at that, it's, it's not going to be as good as when you're sort of projecting them out. I'm not overly happy with that one. But what we'll do, we'll gather the cards and try another shot. Because at the end of the day, when you're doing shots like this, it's sort of hit and miss. You could either, when you're doing it, you could nail the shot first time and then you won't have to do any more. Or, like me, when I'm doing here, could take a couple more attempts. You can keep trying and keep shooting until you get the picture that you like or what you're going to like. Or what you could do, which I'm probably going to have to do with some of these, is go into Photoshop and maybe move some of the cards. So if you've got like an area which you need more cards in, you could Photoshop them from a different picture, put them on there and do that. I think I'm going to sort of go down here possibly and shoot them over that way, just so I can try and fill the frame. I don't know whether I can do it up and over or whether I just have to go up that way. And again, just so I can fit a bit more in frame, I'm just going to duck down slightly. And then I don't think it was big enough to sort of go in the picture, but we'll see. Yeah, I think that could possibly work. I think especially with the vertical crop, I could get away with that. Yeah, I think definitely vertical, I should do it. Because it's got the spiral going down, it's got me in there. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that one. Might add a bit more cards in, because I've got one of the cards there I could use. Maybe just get away with using some of these as well. This is where the fun starts. Now we're going to do two card springs, one from each hand. So the only thing which is going to be an issue is cleaning up. So I've got these bicycle cards which have got the red back and I've also got a different deck of cards which has got a different back. Hopefully essentially it should mean it's quicker and easier to tidy up. The amount of times that I'm cleaning up the cards I'm going to be saying quite a lot. So here we are, here's the other deck of cards that I've got. It's the Helians by Daniel Madison. See there, so these have got a black back rather than the red. Hopefully with the blend of two different cards, it should be quite nice. So this is a little one that I learned from Chris Ramsey on his YouTube channel. So basically you can take any card here. So that one there. So that is your card, you remember that. And what you can do, riffle down the deck and put that there. See that's not the top, not the bottom. So that's your card there. And what you can do, snap your fingers and piece the top. I don't know why people do snap fingers, but Shit happens. Here we go. Now I have the fuck you deck and I also have the Madison Helians to try and do these at the same time. So we'll see how that goes. Camera's on self timer and what I'm going to do is try and put them across each other. So we, sh we shall see. <sighs> That's going to be a pain to clean up. But I think if we got the shot, then it's all going to be worthwhile. So that was too early. As you can see the card sort of hanging off. You can see the fuck you card. Next one. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy with that. I don't. I think that's a bit too much going on. So I don't know if I'm going to do it again like this, or whether I'm going to shoot them straight off each hand. We'll give it a try and see. The plan is, I'm going to get all the cards together, and I'm not really fussed which way they go. The black ones in one, or the red ones in the other. When the cards are flying up, you're not going to have red on one side, black on the other side. They're going to be all mixed together. So I've got the cards split. What I found was quite funny was the last time when I had that card on the front, when I flicked it out, you could still see it. So the camera's set up again. We'll set on the set timer and give it a bash. Just get the two decks like this, and just going to shoot them straight up. I think that one was much better. That had sort of a nice even spray and they both went quite high up, so let's we'll have a look now. So there. That was the first one. That was the second one where they both went straight up, which just sort of looks all right. But then there, you've got that one. I'm liking that. Now they've got cards all the way up, they've got cards coming up the hand, cards flying down. Yeah, quite like that. So I think that one there mixed with probably that one. 
Yeah, I'm happy with them ones. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It was nice to get a sort of insight into the behind the scenes of how it's set up, different lighting setups and the thought process going into the actual photo shoot itself rather than just saying, all right, well, I'm gonna go in the studio with a deck of cards, take a picture. The whole thing is with magicians. You've got the pictures and all that other shit and the sort of, it's just the same really. So it's just trying to think out of the box and trying to do something a little bit different. Give the channel a subscribe, give the video a like if you liked it and leave a comment below. Possibly even if you've got some examples of videos you want to see in the future. So we'll come in the studio, we'll set something up and we'll do a portrait session, self-portrait session. Leave your comments in below and we'll get it done. Thanks, see ya.